In 1979, Guy Lafleur recorded the disco album, Lafleur. It was released in French and English and included the disco hits Shooting, Face Off, Skating, Checking, Power Play and more. As an added bonus, the album featured a bilingual instructional booklet that taught fans of all ages how to play better hockey. A good shot is based on a combination of strength, balance on skates, technique and practice. First you should use a stick with a handle that you can flex or bend. And no matter what type of shot you work on, it's most important that you release the puck quickly. In recent years, Claude Ruel has really helped me work on my quick release. He passes me one puck after another at high speed, and I receive and shoot all in the same motion. You can also help your quick release by learning to do push-ups on your fingertips. Start by doing a few and then gradually increase the number until you can do 35. It's not easy, but the strength that you'll gain will make all the difference in developing your shots. Keep on pushing, keep on pushing, yeah. Keep on pushing, yeah. The snapshot is one of the greatest offensive weapons to appear in recent years. And doing the push-up exercise is an essential element in its success. You start with the puck on the toe of the blade. Roll the blade over a little. Draw the stick in slightly. And lean on the handle with the bottom hand. And then, snap! You gotta reach out, draw it, snap your wrist. You gotta reach out, draw it, snap your wrist. Keep on reaching out, keep on drawing it. Oh, snap your wrist, snap your wrist. Let it go, let it go. The wrist shot is sometimes referred to today as a forgotten art. Wrist shots have two advantages, quick release and accuracy. Cradle the puck in the center of the blade, and while flexing the stick slightly, shoot the puck with a sweeping motion. The key here is following through with the motion after the shot. Also, practice receiving a pass and releasing the wrist shot all in the same motion. Remember the importance of the quick release. The slap shot is a valuable offensive weapon if it's used at the right place and time. Many people are critical of the slap shot because most amateurs don't know where it's going and it takes so long to get it away that usually the shot gets blocked. Here are a few hints for a good slap shot. First, it's the whipping action in the stick that gives you the speed in your shot. Pick the general area you want to shoot at and draw the stick back about waist high. As you're drawing the stick back, allow the bottom hand to slide down the handle about 14 inches from the stick handling position. Now, look at the puck and tighten up the bottom arm as you start to come forward with your shot. The stick should make contact with the ice and the puck at the same time. The blade of the stick should hit the puck between the midpoint and the heel end of the blade. You gotta draw back, pull back, drop your hand. You gotta draw back, pull back, drop your hand. Tighten up when you're swinging through. Slap the eyes, just behind the back. Move on through. Move on. For me, the backhand shot is the toughest of all shots to master. The curved stick has made the backhand shot even more difficult, since you use the reverse side of the blade. To gain complete control of the backhand, make sure that the puck is between the center and heel of the blade. Only the most skillful players can really take advantage of the potential of the backhand shot or pass. But if you can master it, it's a great way to keep the defense guessing.